What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemang Allah, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of your Daily Revolution. Today's topic, look at yourself in the mirror. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This morning, I got up as my normal ritual, routine, and rhythm in the morning to start my day winning. Right? And let's, let's be real. Most people have an idea. And they, they kind of have an idea that that's what you do, right? You start your day winning. Right? You get off on the right foot and you start winning. And so I got up at 4.45, alarm goes off, walk to the bathroom, put contacts, start getting ready to go. And I jump on the scale, which is what I do every day, just to see where I'm at. I, I love to look on the scale to measure where am I today? Happened to be right at 3.05 even, which is great for me. So 3.05, Take my shirt off, get ready to go to the gym, and I take a picture. I'm like, yeah, let's see what the body looks like. Now, there's something incredible about measuring where you are, you know, what's the weight, you know, just looking like with a hard set of eyes of truth and saying, hey, where am I? You know, where am I? And today was great. Why? Because I've been on this journey over the last 15 years. I've been as heavy as 330. I've been as lean as 250. And over the last 15 years, I've been 250 three different times. And that's lasted for a good 6 to 12 months. And then it slowly creeps back. I kind of just let it go. And then I'm like, man, I don't like this. Now, why is this so significant? See, a lot of people are afraid today to look in the mirror. They don't want to look at themselves. Meaning they don't want to look at really what's going on under the clothes of where their body's at. Well, not just physically, but a lot of people are afraid to look at where their marriage is. You know, what's going on in your marriage? Are you in cruise control? I can tell you right now that if you are in cruise control in any capacity of your life, it's just a matter of time before it turns into complacency. And complacency then turns into a crash. And then a crash turns into this crisis. So I looked at myself in the mirror today. It's at 3.05. Is this what I want? Does this work for me? And I can tell you right now, it doesn't work, but in context where I'm at, it really works. I've been about six weeks, like full swing, eating decent and consistently building my body. I've been following a guy online on Instagram, Mr. Julian Smith. He goes by the quad guy. The guy's amazing. Right now, follow his daily pump and I'm taking the supplements, and I'm getting after it, and I tell you what, I feel great. Now, what's the lesson here, and why is this so significant? The lesson here is don't be afraid to look at yourself in the mirror. It's the only way you're going to like have a transformation, like a real look at your body. Right? Don't be afraid to jump on the scale. Don't be afraid to really take a look at where you're at spiritually. You know, does your spirituality work for you? By work, I mean, is it giving you what you really want? Not the superficial, pretending thing that you want, but does it really work for what you want? Take a look at your marriage and the relationship with your children. Does that work for you? And you'll never know until you take a good hard look at it of what's going on. You know, are you and your spouse, do you guys date? Do you guys talk? Can you confront things? Can you be honest about things? Can you go to each other when you're down and be open and honest? Or do you have to feel afraid and ashamed and guilty? Same thing with your children. Can you really say, man, I love where I'm at with my boys or my girls or my nieces and nephews if you don't have any kids? And finally, of course, that business aspect, wow. Can you look in the mirror? There's something about being able to look at the scale, to look at where the relationships are, to look at the fabric of your spirituality, and of course, to look at the bank account. Look at the bank account. Go look at it today. Like log in, look at where your checking is, look at where your savings is, look at where your retirement is, look at where your investments are. If you do not like where you are, you can do something about it. So principle number three in the revolution, the principles of power, is that prosperity is a choice. And indeed it is a choice. Everything you have today with your body, everything you have today with your marriage and family, you are at cause. 
It's not someone else's fault. And this is one of the first steps that you've got to take if you're gonna have a prosperous life, right? This revolution of waking up and truly living, which is what? To have some extreme ownership. Extreme ownership, that means you take full responsibility, that there's no sugarcoating, there's no shifting responsibility, there's no pushing the blame on anyone else. It's you. But the only way this ever happens is if you take a good, hard look in the mirror. So, 305 today, I have a target of 290, then another target benchmark of 275, then ultimately, it's to get down to about 265, and I'm giving myself a good year. A good year. Now, I operate in 90 days, but you know, a lot of people, they want to, like, do this thing, this 90-day challenge, I'm going to lose all this weight, I'm going to go, like, gangbusters and make all this money. There are some industries where you've got a season to really make your money, and I'd have you consider what would happen if not only did you look in the mirror, I'm looking at the man in the mirror, that's my little plug for little, look at, you know, man in the mirror. Look, I'm all about looking in the mirror, and I'm all about the long game. But if you're going to build an incredible life of contribution and significance and success and just feeling like, hey, I love my life, be committed to the long game, right? The long game would have you say, hey, I'm going to look at the mirror, at my body, at my bank account, at my relationship with my goddess or your, your husband, if you're a woman listening to this. I'm going to look at where I'm at and I'm going to really take a good hard look and then I'm going to commit to the long game, which means slow and steady Eddie or slow and steady Betty, consistent and persistent, committed and in it, and like really being willing to pay a price for the things that you want. Look, look, I'm telling you right now, go look in the mirror, like really look in the mirror. And, you know, in addition to looking at the mirror, ask yourself, does this work? Does this work? And if it works for you, hey, fantastic. Great. Keep doing what you're doing. And if it doesn't work, no need to feel guilt or shame. No need to beat yourself up. All you got to do is to be super honest and say, okay, okay, I'm going to make some changes. And be committed to the long game. Oh, that beeping sound is telling us that the time is almost now finished and complete to finish up the podcast. Just kidding. I don't have my seatbelt on. How bad is that? All right. So that's the lesson today. And that's what I'm sharing in the podcast today. 305 today. There's going to be a little picture on this if you're on my my blog, my website. So you can see what 305 looks like on a six foot four Polynesian man who loves the weight room. And I also love to eat. And look, take a good look at the mirror, guys. I'm telling you right now, take a good look at the mirror. Look at everything and ask yourself, does this work? If not, make the changes and then commit to the long game. Have the most amazing day. And this is a boy, Satamangana. So if you're enjoying this podcast, like I asked you a couple of things. Number one, go to iTunes and leave a review. Or go leave a review, a review for me. That would like, make a big difference and huge thing for me in getting this message out. And number two, uh, share it with someone. And I promise now that school's back in session with my boys, like there's just a podcast that's going to come every single day moving forward throughout the school year. So have a great day today. Join me at uh, SatemasHuddle.com for those of you who want a little more sauce in your life. And uh, until tomorrow, you'll have an incredibly prosperous day. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.YourDailyRevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.